Sean again, an application engineer here at DATAC Instruments. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use low and high pass filters in the WINDAC Waveform Browser to clean up noisy waveforms. In the past, we've demonstrated how you can filter noise using the Moving Average feature in the Advanced CODUS add-on package. And you can click the link below to learn more about Advanced CODUS. In some instances, you may need to sample at very high rates to capture things like transients or events that occur in a very short period of time, while in other cases you may simply be looking for a general trend, so those transients don't really mean much to you. In this case, we'll take a waveform that has quite a bit of noise and use the low and high pass filters, in this case the low pass filter in the WINDAC waveform browser, to remove that noise. So we'll begin by choosing a DFT, or Direct Fourier Transform, from the Transform pull-down menu. We're choosing the DFT because FFT, or Fast Fourier Transform, is better suited to cyclical waveforms, like an AC sine wave, for example. This generates a power spectrum that you see here, with frequency on the x-axis and magnitude on the y. You can left-click and hold to drag the cursor crosshair back and forth in the spectrum. For this demonstration, we'll place the cursor crosshair right about there. Go back to the Transform menu and select Low Pass Filter. As you can see, a significant portion has disappeared, leaving only the portion of the spectrum under about 1 Hz. So now, if we perform an inverse transform, and left click and hold the double line and drag down, we can see the filtered waveform. So here's the original with the noise, and here's the filtered waveform. You can see there's a nice clean trend line. In the same manner, you can perform a DFT and choose a high pass filter. to display just the high frequency portion of the signal. 